welcome once again to the Mask Fanatic, fellow art lovers and horror fans. Hey, what has 14 thumbs and loves Halloween and monsters? That's right, this guy. Now, tonight in the attic, we have a really good. Wait, what? What do you mean I don't have? I don't have 14. Of course I do. What do you you want to see the? Well, no, it's just that I I have 14. I just I only have two on my body, and the other the other dozen I keep in this jar, which is normally kept down in the laboratory, you see. So, I mean, I, I have them. Technically, my statement was correct. I have 14 thumbs. It's just, see, I didn't say what has 14 thumbs growing out of his hands, and I just, I keep the others in it. Anyway, tonight's mask, based on a movie that came out way back in 1963, made by the same people who were making the great old Godzilla movies at the time, Toho, uh, and the Toho Studios movie, Matango, the fungus of terror, or simply Matango, uh, was uh, picked up for uh, stateside uh, distribution by the folks at AIP, who apparently didn't know what to do with it because it was scary and didn't have any of the more whimsical elements of the Godzilla series. It was just dark and creepy and scary, and, and they called it Attack of the Mushroom People. Yeah. So you may have seen it on late night television, like many of us. Uh, many years ago under the title Attack of the Mushroom People. Uh, it, it's, it's Actually, it's a great film. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It sounds silly when you think Attack of the Mushroom People. It sounds dumb, but you have to forget that. And, and, and uh, remember, AIP gave it that title. Americans gave it that title, not the Japanese who made it. Uh, it's actually a great film. It's scary, it's creepy, and it's about... Um, some shipwreck survivors who uh, get washed ashore and stranded on an, an uncharted island. Oddly enough, among them there's a, a movie star and a professor and a skipper and a sailor and, and, and a millionaire. Hmm. But anyway, Gilligan's Island, it ain't because it turns out the mushrooms that grow on the island are some weird kind of, uh, well, monster mushrooms, I guess, and when you eat them, you turn into a mushroom person. Which is not bad sci-fi, really, because, you know, mushrooms are a type of fungus, and fungus can thrive on people. I mean, anytime you get, like, athlete's foot or anything like that, it's a fungal infection. So you can kind of buy it. You know, it's better than, like, a guy turning into a giraffe or a carrot or uh, a tuba. See, uh, turning into mushrooms is a little creepier because you can kind of uh, buy it a little bit more uh, realistically. But it took until... It took until 2014 for anybody to do a mask called simply Mushroom Man or, or Matango, that's M-A-T-A-N-G-O. Matango was his name, O. Oh. Uh, also just known as the Attack of the Mushroom People mask or Mushroom Person. The character name is not part of the mask. It's, it's Anyway, this was uh, created by Kathy Tharp, somebody who worked at Don Post Studios for many years back in their glory days of uh, like the 1970s and 80s when lots of interesting and innovative, uh, really creative, stimulating, clever stuff was coming out of Don Post Studios. This is not a Don Post Studios mask. Follow along here, uh, students. Uh, because Don Post Studios had closed its doors by this time, so this was just made uh, just on on her own as a private artist by Kathy Tharp, just because she wanted to do one because she saw the movie, which apparently, even though many of us remember it scaring us on late night television like in the 70s and 80s, uh, Kathy Tharp evidently didn't see the movie until something like 2006. Netflix, maybe? I don't know. But uh, finally... She decided uh, it, the time had come that there needed to be a mask of, and, and actually mushrooms are kind of a recurring theme in Kathy Tharp art anyway, so it kind of made sense. So this was actually sculpted uh, over a period of several years, and I know what that's like, but uh, I guess she would just, it was sitting there partly done and she would work on it a little bit now and again and eventually got it done and got it molded. Um, I don't know if you can see exactly what the colors are like. He's, he's kind of tasting the rainbow here. He's predominantly orange with a lot of green and then there's also some purple and some brown going in there too. And that might sound goofy but it really looks cool in person. It's, it's, uh, it has a nicely fungal quality to it. This is a fun guy. 
yeah, I think you'll, uh, I think you'd like it if you could see it in person, even if you think it sounds too colorful. It all really works really well, and there were only seven of these produced. Oh my gosh, only seven? Yeah, that's what he said, seven of these made. Now, the mold does still exist, so possibly there will be more. Possibly there will be a second edition released and there will be more than seven. But at, at the present time, as of this videotaping, there are only seven in the known universe. And, well, if you think about you know, the population of Earth being right around seven billion, that works out to one mushroom man mask per billion people. That's going to cause some serious conflict uh, on Halloween, you know, if a lot of people want to go as a mushroom. Uh, a person. So that is not a very good ratio of mushroom man masks to people right now. But again, maybe there will be some more. At the moment, there are only seven, but uh, they're from 2014, and they were all, all seven of them, made in 2014, all uh, finished and painted by Kathy, the sculptor. And I, I don't know if you can see the depth here, but it's, it's, it's pretty impressive the way the mushrooms are sticking up off the head and this actually does look like one of the mushroom people in the movie there actually is a very creepy scene where uh, somebody's like shuffling down a hallway with raggedy uh, uh, legs uh, legs with rags on them and he's just moving along a creepy and and you know the door opens and you get a look at this actually if you wanted it to look just like the movie I guess you'd have to put a turtleneck sweater on it because if I remember correctly I think the guy in the movie who is this mushroom man. I think he was wearing a turtleneck sweater now. Some people are probably going to look at this video and the first thing they're going to see is that it says uh, mushroom man and it's a mask and they're going to think, oh wait, it's a head with mushrooms all over it? It's a head virtually made of mushrooms? Really? And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this probably has to do with a certain rock band that came out a few years ago, but let me just um, put that to rest. No, this has nothing to do with Hootie and the Blowfish.